Alright guys, so I know some of you guys are seeing this title, Subject Verb Agreement, and saying, wait, that's like something we did in elementary school. Trust me, on the PSAT, SAT, and ACT, these show up in ways that are super tricky. So if you get these concepts down, you're gonna do so much better. Let's get into it. So we're getting exposure to the different ways subject verb agreement can show up. No matter what the question looks like, it always boils down to taking the subject and putting it right next to the verb. So here we have the fitness trainer along with his team are about to open his brand new training facility in California. Again, to the ear, it might have sounded off, but it might have sounded okay, because when you hear that, the fitness trainer along with his team are about to do something, it sounds okay, but here's the deal. Notice, along with his team is additional information. That's why it's set apart by commas, and that's why you need those commas there. But here's the deal. Your subject is fitness trainer, your verb is are. Now let's take a look at that. The fitness trainer are about to open? No, the fitness trainer is about to open. And along with his team has to be in between the commas. So let's take a look at it. We know that the only one that does that is answer choice D. We've got trainer is, which is what we're looking for, and along with his team is still within those commas. This shows up all the time, and what happens is people confuse this with the word and, like Brian and Emily are going to the mall. When you're using the phrase along with, you're gonna set that off with commas, and it's treated as additional information. So, if your subject is singular, you gotta make sure that your verb is singular as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to share this channel with other people and definitely hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when new videos are coming. Thank you, guys. Peace.